Okay, long time since I've done a Q&A session. <laughs> I don't have any glasses. So he has to use mine. <laughs> so I've got to He's gonna be I don't want any today. comments from anybody about this, please, okay? I know I look stupid oh, in them. Oh, James likes to wear that. <laughs> yeah. He wears my tutu skirts every yeah, once in Yeah, a while you can't too. see that, but they don't look that bad on me. You kind of look brainy. <laughs> Hey, thank God I don't worry about the way I look. This, this, these videos are all about content. It's got nothing to do with the way I look. Tammy always looks beautiful. I look like a friggin' idiot, but hey, there you go. Enjoy. All right. He so gets his own reading glasses. JJP says, "What week do you start weaning?" Tammy, you can answer that one since you've been the smart butt. Start yeah. weaning? Yes. Well, you can start weaning it when there's six weeks, but if you have to, you can do it earlier. Yeah, you can do it four weeks, can't you? Yeah, you can. You got a mum's you know, having milk. If you have to. Yeah, if you got keep a mum. Keep on mama's milk, gosh, as, for yeah. at least. Sometimes ours are still on mama, but we try to break them before they leave to go home. So. Well, well we, we do break them before they leave to go home. Yeah. Yeah. Seven weeks, six to. Seven but if you're in a situation where mum's milk's no good, mum's being hostile towards babies, mum's sick, whatever, start weaning them sooner, and you could certainly start trying to do that at four weeks with the puppy moose. Audrey Stewart says, I'm looking to get into show breeding, showing and breeding Frenchies. What should I look for in DNA for my first sire? Well, okay, if you're gonna be in the breed, if you're gonna be in a show ring, that really restricts the colors the dog can show. You can't be blue, you can't be chocolate, you can't be merle, you can't be uh, fluffy. None of those, uh, you can't be anything with tan points. None of those colors, black and tans, none of those colors will work in the show ring. Fawn will work in the show ring. Black Grindle will work in the show ring. Um, yep. Creams will work in the show ring. Creams, fawns, and brindles. That's it. That's it. Not platinums. Well, you can have a platinum dog and nobody would know it because it's just like a cream dog. So you can put that in the show ring. I don't I'm, think, I think you get sure away with it. you have to show your dog. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. But the point here is, is that it, you're very specific about showing. If you're showing then that's really going to limit what you can do. If you're breeding, that's a whole different story. All the colors that are disqualified in the show ring, in my opinion, are the colors that you want to be breeding. So those are the blue and tans, chocolate and tans, lilacs, um, the fluffy dogs, all those things. Yeah. yeah. So, 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 but if you're going to go, whatever you do, what is the important thing, Tammy? Mm -hmm. What's the important thing on any dog you're going to get, whether you're showing or you're breeding? What's the one thing you want to get? One important thing you want good structure there it is exactly right we're on the same page you want good structure because yeah you know, in the show ring i mean you're not going to get anywhere without good structure in the show ring and and with a stud dog you need to have good structure anyway because that dog's structure is going to go into every single puppy you can produce uh, Uh, Andrea Sanchez says, I just bought an oxygen concentrate. It has a piece of oats like yours, but I think it's for water. Can I put the albuterol in there and use it as a nebulizer? Yes, you can. Um, so Costa uh, Bianca says, I've just received the incubation unit I ordered from you. Thanks for the easy transaction. Can you do a video showing if and how these can be linked up to the incubators? I think you're talking about linked and hooked up to a oxygen concentrator and I do have a video on this that shows how you can very simply with a pair of scissors make a hole in the side of our incubators because there's no electronics in the sides um, and you can uh, make a 5 16 hole with the point of a pair of scissors and pass the tube through right inside the unit. I'll, I'll give you a link to that. Uh, lots of people congratulating on stuff, well thank you. Um, let's see here, Amando Dia 67 says, I had to import my Great Danes from Germany and Poland. Both breeders were highly recommended. I tried to find 100% European Great Danes in the US, but could not trust in the bloodlines. Uh, except for the airport itself scamming me by requiring a broker $500 for me to send paperwork. Yes, so this is something we've run into. If you import a dog, you've got to go through customs to go get the dog, and there's two ways you can do this. You can go get a broker to do it, and they're gonna charge you a few hundred bucks, or you can simply do it yourself. 
So the first time we did it, we got a broker because we didn't know any better. But after that, we've just gone and picked the dog up. You have to take the paperwork from the airline to the customs. It'll be in the same general vicinity, maybe a few miles away. Get your paperwork stamped, pay whatever the duties are on the dog, go back and pick a dog up. So you can absolutely do this stuff. But be careful here. You want to make sure that you can get this all done within the time frame when customs is open and you can pick your dog up. So you've got to be yeah. a little careful. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but and don't expect to get in and get out because it's going to take you probably an hour and a half total of going back and forth and waiting. And so when we did this last time, we went, picked up, we picked up the paperwork at the airline company. That took about 20 minutes. We then you drove about... Photo ID, whoever's picking up. Yes. You have to let them know and have your photo ID. We then spent 50 minutes to drive to the customs place. Mm -hmm. Then about another 50 minutes to the customs place to go get our paperwork stamped and pay the duties. Another 50 minutes to get back to the place and then another 50 minutes to wait on dogs. So there's a couple of hours gobbled up. So just, yeah. you can't be doing this at nine o'clock at night. No. Right. Saving puppies with an auction. Okay, Catherine Pineda says, my puppies are due in a couple of days. I'd like to purchase one right away. We're talking about the auction concentrator. Don't have it yet. We've got, the, we've, we've got our first few samples in to test and it all went great. We've been using it for a while now, and now we're uh, going to have an order of 50 of them to come over, but it's going to be probably 30 days. So, sorry, I don't have anything at the moment. Uh, Badger Kick says, is there any way to get a list for one of these? Yes, I'm going to set some stuff up so the first ones are there at EMR for people. I'll give you some information on that. Oh dear. Uh, one of these ones I don't like to read. Uh, Arika J says, this channel is awesome, I only wish I'd found it before I had my litter of seven pugs. They all died within the first week and a half, oh dear, yeah. Well, we don't know what happened, um, but uh, yeah, you know, it's... Uh, Try a different mail this time, next Yeah, time. I mean, I don't know what the cause of it was. I mean, it could have yeah. most likely things to have puppies early, but I mean, you know, it's... Yeah. You know, the things that you need, if you... The things that all breeders should have, in well, our opinion... Well, you also need to do brucellosis test too. Right, but the things that we think you should have is incubator, um, oxygen concentrator, puppy care kit, you know, these are all things that set you up to being successful. Um, this one's from Adrian Harris, is asking about fixing puppies' feet pointing backwards. How early can we start doing this to a puppy? Immediately, Immediately now, yeah. today. Not, yeah. not an hour ago, now. The yeah. sooner you start, the sooner you get it fixed. And remember that puppies that are, you know, a few days old, a week old, two weeks old, their bones are pretty soft and pliable, and so they can be manipulated pretty well. The longer you leave this before you start tackling it, the much harder it'll be to fix the problem. Use that first aid tape, the, the one that's not the cheap bow kind. Get the other first aid tape, the original first aid. Scotch. I don't know if it's scotch or not. No, not sure. Really. Anyway, so, uh, but... The other one's not worth it. It would stay together on there. Rocker Knight says, uh, beautiful, looking at, um, and she's looking at, uh, I think, Zeus. Looks like a blue brindle. What's a lilac? A lilac is a dog that is both blue and, uh, and she's looking at Zeus, fire stars. Zeus, Looking at fire, looking at fire, fire starter. Fire yeah. was a lilac. Yes, fire starter. Yeah. Fire starter, that's right. Zeus uh, didn't. Yeah, so Firestarter is a lilac, lilac, so it's both a blue and a chocolate, and he did carry a copy of Brindle. Yeah, we don't have him anymore. Uh, Rocker Knights also says, what's the best kibble to buy? Raw did not work for us. Well, we're not crazy about raw either. A lot of people use it successfully, so I'm not knocking those people. The reason that we're not crazy about raw is, is that potentially there are pathogens that could be in the food, you could get a stomach upset for a dog. Um, you know, people will say, well, dogs' intestines are rather different in the way they work, and it's probably true. And certainly dogs eat a lot more trash than we as humans do. But it, for us, what we feed is um, life's abundance, and they have that both in the... And you can get that on our website. Yeah, you can go on our website. www.mybreedersupply.com. Yep. Life abundance. Delivered straight to your door. Good stuff. Yeah, like in two days depending on which day you order it. Brandy Alvarado says, what do you do when your French puppy tails are too long? Well, what you do is you weep and uh, you decide you better breed to a different dog next time. Yeah. 
because exactly. you don't want long tails. Yeah. Now, long, so the problem with long tails is, is that that is hereditary thing. You know, one of the parents. Well, a long time ago, they used to have long tails. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Well, I didn't know yeah. that. See, I you think know, they the were taxed by the tail. Oh, well, now you're talking about bobbing tails. That's, I do know about that. Yeah. So back in England, you had to pay a, li a dog license, and the, si and the amount of the dog license you'd have to pay was based on the length of the tail. So guess what people did? They started docking tails. That's how tail docking started. You know, this is the government doing something they think they're being clever, and <laughs> the, the, the rest of us populists are smarter than they are. It's like, are you going to tax me on a long tail? Well, we'll sort that right out. We'll just take the tail off. So that's where that started. Yeah. But yeah. look, one of the, you know, somebody in this lineup's got a long tail. It could have been oh, yeah. a mother or a father great, of the dogs great, you had or a great grandpa. Yeah. But if you've got a whole lot of long tails. You better be using a different male. Use a different male. And see if that cures it. Yep. Hello, Alberto Alvarez says, hello. Can you get pregnant with a single insemination with correct numbers? What do you think of that one, Brian? With correct numbers? Yeah. Well, of course you can. Just like human beings. Yeah. Just takes one time. Get it right. One is done. Absolutely. Uh, F S F C Kennel Vlogs is talking about my auction concert. It says, where can we get this machine and how much does it cost? Looks fancy. Ha ha. So the answer is, there's some replies here. See what the reply says. Um... Oh, okay. So, okay. Well, the answer is we will have these available. I'm thinking probably middle to back end of November. So, uh, and it's going to be. I think the, the price is going to be 349 bucks. Haven't worked a complete deal out yet, so I don't know what the shipping costs are going to be for us. But I think 349 is what it's going to be. It's a very nice machine. Very happy. Really built like a Sherman tank. <laughs> So fluffy Frenchy now we sold Ange Angelica Ramos says what other breeds are they mixed with? They're not, they're Frenchies. So I know that you know you well, see the, Yeah, I mean I'll give you an example. You know that lot that Liddy that you're looking at right there, uh, both parents by the way were embark test 100 percent Frenchy because I wanted to make sure that what I was doing was correct. So how the hell did a a, uh, a long-haired Frenchie get there without reading it well, something? Many, many years ago the long-haired Frenchie was in the UK. Well, one, of, that. one of our friends. Well, yeah. Annette, our Annette friends. Woods, yeah, yeah. producer of, of Fluffy, about over a decade ago, just out of the blue, and uh, sold that dog without rights because she thought that it was well, something. I think, that, I think she did. Uh, yeah. But the point here is, is, is it's you'll get things that change in genetics spontaneously and produce something that, in the most cases, is not something good. But sometimes it will produce something that is good, and that's how dogs evolve. And so there you go. You've got that's where the fluffy came from. It's not been bred to some other dog. All right. So that's it for this one. We've got you 13 minutes worth of time wasted. So again, thanks for watching, and we'll do another one here in a little bit. Bye. And check. Oh wait. Yep. Check back with me late November, and I can tell you what babies we're gonna have. Okay. Cody's got some babies right now. Yeah, he's got two litters on the three litters yeah, on the ground. Yeah, he's got think. some. Uh, he's got some lilacs. And uh, and platinums and some of them a couple of morals and some of them are fluffy carriers too oh, yeah. so so uh if you're interested in that give cody a call give cody a call Look him up on the that. numbers of the front of this video the numbers up there oh is it so you can just okay. call that number and then mybreedersupply.com for life abundance the dog food we have that on there to sell other products on there incubators sell. whelping kits progesterone some machines some of the things that james invented and now are patented on yep. there. Should make kids. Lots all of good yep. stuff for males and females and puppies. All right, we're, we're telling this into a sales, sales uh, thing. It's not what okay. it's about. So we're <laughs> sake, not trying to sell you stuff. We're trying to give you good information. Bye. Bye. The, the video. Uh, I really appreciate people who subscribe to me. It helps me, encourage me to do more of these videos. But do remember, disclaimer here, I am not a vet. I'm not a licensed medical professional. I'm purely a person who's been breeding dogs for the last couple of decades. Any information that you got from this video, use at your own risk. There's nothing implied here. And certainly this is, should not be used as a substitute for advice from your veterinarian or your medical professional. I hope you enjoyed the video.
Come back for more of them. Bye.